Okay, so now we're going to do example one, oblique cabinet. It's going to be half depth, which means we're going to be cutting our depths only in half. So each one of these lines here, these depth lines, will be cut in half. Place all those over there. So when you're creating this, you're going to want to pay attention to these depth lines because they're going to be half of what the actual dimension is. So begin in this bottom corner, we'll start right down here. Go to line command, make sure that our object snap is turned off, but our, our object snap is turned off is object snap turned on, excuse me, and turn off your snap. So object snap on, snap is off. So we'll start in this corner right here, 45 degree angle. It's a depth line, so it's going to be one, it's half of that depth. The height is going to remain the same. It's going to be 2. And then here's that depth line again. We just close it out. So up here, very top, we have a depth line. The actual depth is 2. We're going to cut it in half to 1. The width is going to stay 2. We'll just close that end point there. So I'm going to create this depth here. That depth is 6. Half of 6 is 3. So this is going to be 3. This height will be the same. Go up 2. Enter. The depth line, so it's going to be 1. Enter. I'll zoom into it here. Now this is the height line, so it's going to be 1. Enter. And going back this way, it'll be one. It's a depth line, so we cut that in half. And then we're going to go back up to the top here. So just keeping in mind that all of the depth lines will be cut in half. So we cut this one in half, cut that one in half. So I'm going to go over two. This is a depth line, so I'm going to be going in this direction, 45 degrees. It's going to be one unit. I'll just close that up right here. This line is going to go straight down. It's a height line. It's going to go to the intersection right here. Create that line. We also need to create this width line right here, and that's going to do the same exact thing. It's going to terminate into an edge intersection. And then we'll complete the front. So from this end point, I'm going to go in four units. Enter. We've got a depth line in this direction, which is Actually, the full depth is 2, so we cut it in half and make that 1. This will be 4, the width line. I'll go down 2, which is the height. I'm going to be going away 2 units. It's actually going to be 1 unit. Mistake. I'll go up 2 units for that side. And then close it out. And then I can actually take this corner and connect it. This line will terminate at that edge. And this line in the front will go straight across and terminate into that edge. So there you have it. That's your oblique cabinet half depth for example one.